I would rather you go to a life coach to avoid a crisis. But usually when things are going well, they don't, you know, you, that's the least of your priorities. Um, yeah, they don't usually. Um, so usually it's really when when it's a crisis. But ideally, it would be <laughs> in a time when you want to get better. You want to be, you're in a good space. And now I want to reach the next level life. You know, that's, mm -hmm. that's, that is the ideal. But that's not where we are i don't know if it's that's not where we are as uh, filipinos or that's not where we are yet as um you know or that's not where my clients are at you know but for me it really would be that i am i'm here i'm at this level i really want to reach the next uh, what are the, the crucial crucial concerns for you as a life coach? Because you you talked about you know uh, your clients that or people who go to a life coach because they have career crisis they don't know whether they're going to carry on or uh, go to a different field they don't know if they'll uh, leave their job put up their own business or whether they're going to leave their boyfriend or their partner etc but uh, what are the red flags for you or cases that hey let's deal with this and give it priority because this could end up badly. Right. Um, usually when it's, because again, I'd like to differentiate um, between coaching and therapy. So usually when, when uh, people come to me with mental health challenges, that's when I would have to refer them out to, um, or when it becomes to healing, really healing, uh, you know, trauma, healing, um, uh, emotional wounds is really, mm -hmm. you know, a coach will, you're, you don't go to a, for example, if I'm again, going back to my Serena Williams metaphor, if I'm Serena Williams and I break my ankle, I'm not going to go to my coach and say, teach me how to play better with my broken ankle. No, mm -hmm. I have to go to my doctor and heal my broken ankle first. 